once again, I'm Extra Life, and today I thought I'd take a moment to share with you some of my favorite guitar sounds on this Fender Stratocaster. The Strat is a very versatile guitar, but it has some things that it does really well, and I think if you're going to be gigging or recording in the studio, then it pays to know what that territory is so that you can navigate it to your best advantage. So today I'm going to show you my five favorite Stratocaster clean tones. Now, I'm not a particularly big gearhead. I don't think that the equipment you're using will make that much difference in the final result you get. It's much more about what you play and how you play it. But since we're talking about tone, uh, I'll just tell you what I'm using. This is a Mexican Strat from 1995, um, and I'm playing through a couple of pedals that I've built myself, but they're nothing that you couldn't find at a guitar shop, you know, a delay and a phaser and a compressor. Uh, and for amplification, we're using a Sans Amp amp simulator. This is a paradriver. Um, and I like it a lot because it, it works equally well for bass and for guitar, but you know you can get similar tones with any amp that cleans up nicely, particularly a Fender or a, a Roland or something of that type. But there is one piece of equipment that you absolutely must have in order to get excellent clean tone, and that is new strings. You are not going to get that high-end sparkle and shine that the Stratocaster particularly is good at unless you have reasonably new strings on there. In fact, new strings are so important that I'm going to record all of these examples with the old strings that are on here right now, and then I'm going to put some new strings on and re-record them so that you can hear how much of a difference it makes. The first tone we're going to talk about is just straight up on the neck pickup, all the controls all the way open, and this is kind of a really classic funk tone. It's used a lot by Nile Rodgers. Uh, one thing about this tone, Nile Rodgers never plays with an amplifier. He plays through a DI straight into the mixing board. So if you're looking for that classic 70s funk, that's how you get it. And this works best with kind of a triad playing on the top three strings. So let's hear some of that. Now you don't need any particular effects to make this sound good, but it does play nicely with compression, particularly if you're chucking and doing a lot of in-between notes. So try that out and use it to taste. The next tone I love is another classic, it's the out of phase position, either between the bridge and middle pickups or between the neck and middle pickups. And this is a tone that's used a lot in blues and funk playing. Uh, and with blues it's used because you can get those big chords and play a lot of strings at once without getting too much sort of muddiness or lack of clarity in the sound. I find that this tone takes slapback delay really well as an effect because it kind of accentuates the rhythmic and percussive nature of funk playing. This next tone is perhaps an infamous one, and it's called the parked wah, and you use it by engaging a wah pedal and just leaving it in place without moving it, uh, and that's why it's called parked. And it gets you a kind of emphasized, almost nasal sound, and it's very famously used by Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits to get a kind of mid-range overdriven tone, but it's also used with clean tones in a kind of surf or spaghetti western context. Uh, and you can hear this in the music of Krongbin with guitarist Mark Spear. This kind of tone works particularly well with big spring reverbs so that you can play a lead line composed of very few notes but still open up a lot of space. This 
next turn uses my favorite effect, the phaser, or the phase shifter. And it's a subtle but, but very kind of important element to the sound because you can play a very repetitive pattern and have it keep moving around you. And I find it works really well with kind of lower down palm muted sounds to accentuate that kind of drippy, quacky quality that the phaser brings out. <laughs> This last tone I find a lot of fun for lead playing, and it sort of emulates the sound of those big box hollow body guitars, and it works well with the kind of playing style of people like Wes Montgomery in a sort of jazz soloist vibe, and you get it by opening up the neck pickup and then turning the tone controls all the way down to suck out all that treble so you're just hearing the kind of mid-range and low end of the tone. five of my favorite Stratocaster clean sounds, and hope you try and incorporate some of that into your playing, and let me know about your results. Next time we'll get back to work on our sequencer project, so be on the lookout for that soon. I've been Extra Life, thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.